I'm excited to announce the creation of our new center, which Larry just told you the name of, the Center for Statistics uh, um, on Statistics for Evidence-Based Policy and Practice, which we're calling the STEP Center. The home will be in the Institute for Policy Research, and it will be co-directed by Larry and I with affiliates both within Northwestern and beyond. Why do we need a center? You may notice that there are already a lot of centers and organizations focused on evidence-based policy in health, medicine, social welfare, and education. What is it that we can bring to the table here? The answer is methods. As statisticians deeply entrenched in the education and social science research communities, we've seen firsthand how the development of new methods radically changes the questions researchers ask, the answers they provide, and the problems they open up for discussion. Take meta-analysis as an example. When Larry began the development of meta-analysis, did, he didn't divine it out of thin air. He listened to the mounting questions and problems researchers in the social sciences were asking as they dealt with an increasing volume of research. By starting from first principles, Larry and a community of statisticians developed methods for measuring effects that were comparable across studies, methods for aggregating findings, methods for exploring variation, and so on. These methods have provided scientists with the tools for systematically and cumulatively building knowledge and are the backbone of the research clearinghouses Larry just mentioned. Our vision for the center is to take this way of thinking, to institutionalize it, and expand the community of statisticians, methodologists, and researchers in the world of evidence-based policy and practice. The work of the STEP Center will focus on three areas. First, the de development of methods for generating evidence. These methods focus on the design and analysis of individual studies, whether we're talking about psychology laboratory studies or large-scale field experiments in schools. Recent innovations here have included designs to improve the precision of estimates, designs and analyses focused on improving the ability to generalize findings from these studies. Second, the development of methods for synthesizing evidence. Meta-analysis is clearly the backbone here. But meta-analysis itself is a very broad field and topic. We know a lot about methods that are appropriate for large, highly heterogeneous syntheses found in the social sciences. These studies typically have over 100 studies in them. But smaller meta-analyses are becoming increasingly common, both in the clearinghouse context that Larry spoke of earlier and in the world of replication studies. Third, there is the translation of evidence. How do we best convey results from single studies and syntheses to policymakers, practitioners, parents, the media? You will note that the screen is blank in the space allocated here for existing methods. The STEP Center is aiming to change this. Over the past half century, methods for generating and synthesizing evidence have coalesced into a science. We now have research designs, statistical models, estimators, measures of uncertainty, and studies of the robustness of these methods, entire fields devoted to these areas. We need a similar science of translation. Why do I say science? Remember, science is about systems, processes, the building of cumulative knowledge through experimentation and observation. As statisticians, this is what we live for. How will Step Center approach this? We spent the last several months focused on how this center will work. What will our approach be and how will it differ from other ways of tackling these translational challenges? One approach, which Larry has alluded to, would be to start with what we already know, how to, how to generate and synthesize knowledge, 
and to turn to the same researchers to t think about how to translate knowledge. That would be very comfortable for us. Those are our friends. We are not the only people thinking about this. Recent convenings of education researchers have had themes like knowledge to action, the evidence behind evidence use, lost in translation, relevance and rigor, making it matter, and improving the practice and usefulness of research. The world is hungry for this. And yet time and time again, we have found ourselves in rooms full of statisticians, methodologists, and researchers making fundamental decisions about the appropriate way to translate evidence without a single practitioner in the room or a single research study to inform these deliberations. Our approach is different. We want to begin with translation. How practitioners think and what they need from us as a community should have downstream implications for how we synthesize and generalize evidence, or generate evidence. In statistical terms, the practitioners and policymakers should be driving the parameters that we later figure out how to estimate. We in the education sciences don't know much about the best ways to communicate magnitude, uncertainty, heterogeneity, and context. The metrics we use and the tools we provide assume that practitioners think the way that we do. But what if the message received isn't what we intended? There are larger questions, too, about the structures and processes and systems, the science, of, trans, of the translation process. As a community, we know surprisingly little about evidence use broadly. Our goal is to change this. The only way we can improve translation is to create opportunities for conversation. Our plan is to create research salons on translation topics, bringing together practitioners, policymakers, researchers, methodologists, and statisticians. These salons will be topic focused, and we hope will generate research projects, studies, experiments that provide insight into the development of best practices. This is not purely aspirational. We are already in the process of planning one such meeting focused on the translation of knowledge from clearinghouses. We are partnering with the Gates Foundation to bring together representatives from clearinghouses worldwide as well as school principals, teacher educators, and superintendents for a meeting this summer. For researchers in clearinghouses, we hope the STEP Center will provide up-to-date best practices, tutorials, online tools, and training opportunities. We want our website to be the place people turn to for state-of-the-art and methodology, communicated in ways that are digestible to people other than statisticians. We are excited to have you here today and hope you enjoy the next two panels, which we have developed with the STEP Center in mind. We welcome any suggestions, including individuals and organizations that we, we might want to partner with or involve, both within Northwestern and beyond. Please feel free to nominate yourself and check out our website, step.center. Thank you. <laughs>